Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you all the steps that I take to edit a photo session in an hour or less. So depending on my photo session, my lighting, my white balance, my focusing, all of those factors really take into how long it takes me to edit a photo session in Lightroom. Sometimes it takes me as little as 20 minutes and sometimes it takes me the full hour. So I'm going to go through my steps today and show you everything that I do to get this task done. I don't like to sit at the computer and be editing photos for hours so that's why I use Lightroom. So I am working with this session today. I've already imported it and I've actually already edited some, some of the photos but I'm going to show you the steps that I take to get all of this accomplished in under an hour. So we're not going to actually be here for an hour but I'm just going to show you the tools that I use to get this done. Okay. So I'm in my library module right now. I have already imported my photos. I've actually already deleted some of the really bad photos, but I'm going to show you how I go through these um, before we get on to the next step. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, since I want to know what I'm working on, I'm going to come over to the folder that I'm working on right now, and I'm going to right click and rename it. And you can rename these folders any way that you like. And I'm just going to rename it Boy's Birthdays because this is my Boy's Birthday photo session that I took last week. Okay, and I'm going to click Save. And it's going to save it. Now I can come over here and create new folders and whatnot. I'm not going to do that right now, but I just wanted to rename that. So if I need to come back to it, I know exactly where it is. Okay. So I'm going to go through the calling process really quick and show you how um, I can get all of these photos um, in order, the ones that I want to edit in a timely fashion. So I'm going to just go from left to right and um, usually in this stage of my workflow I am just picking out the duds. So the ones that I know that aren't going to make the final cut, I just flag them as a reject. This one's I'm just flagging it because it's really overexposed. And even though it was shot in raw, I just don't think I'm going to get enough good data from it to justify keeping it. So I'm just going to use my arrows on my keyboard and quickly move through these. And if I see something that is blurry or um, repetitive, then I'm just going to go ahead and um, mark it as a reject. So you can see, I'm just going to mark these. And then you see I could go through this whole session. I've, like I said before, I've already been through this. Um, I'm going to keep most of them. So the ones that I want to delete, I come over here to my filter and I choose flagged and make sure that you choose the reject f uh, flag and I'm clicking control um, A or command A on a Mac and then I'm going to hold down my control button and press backspace and um, it says delete the two rejected photos from Lightroom or just remove them from Lightroom. So I always delete from disk because if I have a bad photo a few years from now it's still going to be a bad photo. So I just don't keep the bad photos um, so I just delete them from the disk. But you can choose to just remove them from your Lightroom catalog so it's not taking up your your space. Okay, so when I'm done with that I'm going to choose filters off and like I said before I've already called through most of these I'll probably do it again but not right now um, I'm going to come over to my develop module so the next thing that I do in my workflow after I have gone through all of the photos and have narrowed them down to the very specific ones that I know I'm going to keep I come over here to the develop module and I start editing so this is where I correct white balance and exposure and all of these basic things along with more uh, creative editing. 
So for this, for these photos, I think I'm going to use some presets. And I'm going to come over here to the Lux Mat. I'm going to choose Kicks and Giggles. You can see how that kind of brightened up and made it pop a little bit. I'm also going to come over here and adjust my blacks. And maybe my whites a little bit. And maybe even turn down my exposure slightly. I think that's good. Okay, and since I have all of these photos that are very similar to this photo right here, uh, same background, same lighting, same subject, I am going to batch edit. And this is the one thing in Lightroom that saves me the biggest time when it comes to editing and how I can edit photo sessions in under an hour. So I'm going to hold down my control key or command key on a Mac and I'm going to click the, gl the gray areas of all of these photos that have the same kind of lighting. And what I'm going to do is come over here and click on the sync button. And here is going to come up with the synchronized settings where I can choose exactly what I want to copy from this image over to these images. So I'm going to check none for now. But I do know that I changed the exposure, the white and the black clipping. I know that the tone curve is has been changed. Um, I didn't do any sharpening, which let me go back and do a little sharpening. Oh, it looks like I did. Okay. So let's go back to sync, sharpening. Um, I don't need any of these effects. Make sure that you choose process version because if you're working with presets, um, this is very important. I don't need calibration. I think most of these are fine even if they're checked. So I'm just going to choose synchronize and you're going to start to see all these changes in these photos. So then I can come over here and make sure that the photo looks good. Uh, this one looks a little dark, so I'm just going to kind of tweak it one by one just to suit the look that I'm going for. And you can see how, this, how the change is applied from just using the sync settings. And then I'm going to adjust this one, bring up the exposure a little bit. And I'm using my arrow keys to go through this quickly. Now I can, you know, tweak them as much or as little as I want. I think that looks good. Okay. So that's a really big tool that helps me edit even faster is batch editing through the synchronized settings. I also use a lot of presets on my photos. Um, let's go ahead and I want to edit this photo and I'm going to crop it so I'm going to I want to get rid of some of this area over here so I'm going to just kind of crop this just like that um, maybe bring up the exposure a tiny bit and I'm going to come over here to my Lux Matte collection choose that and I'm going to come up to my classic film effects because I know I have a vignette there that I really like to use. And I use presets just to save time so I don't have to come through here and scroll all over. Um, I do s use you know, hand edits from time to time. I'm going to do some sharpening and a little bit of masking. And I think that looks pretty good. So that edit right there took less than 30 seconds probably. Okay, so this is how I go through my workflow, photo by photo. So I'm going to just kind of skip on to the very last part and do the same thing. So this is going to be a little bit more work because these photos are a little bit darker. So I'm going to bring up the exposure a bit. I'm actually going to crop this one. And my goal in this video is not to actually like 
show you how all these tools work, but just to kind of show you how with all of the knowledge that you can have using this program, how you can really save time editing. So I'm going to add a vignette because I like to do that on my photos and then come over here. I'm going to choose depths again and this is a little bit too much matte that I like but I know that I can adjust that over here with my tone curve. So I'm just going to adjust that slightly. Maybe bring that up a bit. Bring up my mid-tones a bit. So there we go. So when I have it looking the way that I want to, since these photos are very similar, I'm just going to hold down my control key, click on the gray, and sync them. Let's make sure that we have everything adjusted. OK, synchronize. And then you're going to see these. Now these might look a little bit too overexposed. So just come through here and I always double check each and every photo before I'm done editing. So that looks pretty good to me. So, you know, when I'm in my library module, um, flagging and calling and then moving on to the develop module using presets and hand edits along with synchronizing the settings really cuts down on my workflow. So if you want to actually watch me um, complete an entire photo session from start to finish and if you want to know all of the tips and tricks that I that I know to edit and polish your photos to perfection without using presets and with only using the tools um, on the right hand panel over here so you can create your own editing style then make sure you check out my online learning course uh, the Lightroom Lush it's a four week course um, we go through everything from the library module to the print module I show you um, very detailed organizational tips and how to optimize Lightroom also how to do everything in that develop module so you can start cutting back on your workflow so Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you found this tutorial useful. I know it was kind of short and quick, but I just wanted to show you how this can be done and how I'm going to go, I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to go through all these photos and get it done super fast. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.